What's the Good Black Star Podcast? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Jared. Y'all, this video from Ashley Dawn down about the review, it seems like a lot of black women, a lot, not a lot, I ain't even gonna say black women. It seems like women just don't think about the shit that they do. Now, we're going to be reviewing this video from Ashley. She said she created a fake Instagram page to bait her millionaire man who loves Olaf women. Oh, boy. Here we go. Hey, me. I thought I'd just join. Um, so I'm the one that posted. Perfect. Hello, beauty. Welcome. And do you consent to be on a live and potentially be on YouTube or Instagram? This bitch got the damn jaw of the crimson damn chin. What the fuck is going on today? Yes. Okay. Um. So I recently found you. I think you're absolutely amazing. Um. And I, I love everything that you do, especially like your topics and things like that. I recently I got divorced. Um, it's been like almost a couple, it's been a couple of years now, and so I recently just started back dating. And I'm 40. I have two kids. One, uh, my daughter, she's in college. She's in my son. He's 12. Typically, the guys that I'm more so interested in are like older guys. So like 50, 51, 52. The most recent guy that I was I was seeing, um, he actually lives out of state. So um, he we were chatting online for like a few months and then he bought a house here where I live. It's just like a winter house. And then he lives up north in one of the northern states where his main house is at. He has a couple homes. But he flew me out uh, to like his where he lives and I met like his his kids and then I also met like his family and things like that. So I feel like things kind of went left like once I actually got back because I feel like I, I have this anxious attachment that I actually didn't realize I had. And I think it's because I really liked him. And he's like, you know, he's the total package. I mean, he's a multi-millionaire. The looks, everything that I wanted, like he checked off all the boxes. Not that he's perfect, because he did have some flaws that I noticed, but nothing too crazy. Every fucking human has flaws. So what the fuck was that to point out? <sighs> Never mind, you dumb assholes. Like, you know, once I got back, I just kind of, I kind of switched up. I feel like I kind of self-sabotage. And then ultimately, he just stopped talking to me, which I would have stopped talking to me too. And so I don't know, like, what are your thoughts? I Because I was thinking about like reaching out. Did you start like um, testing him? That's what you started doing? Started testing. doing that. So yeah so what i what i noticed is um one of the ladies actually had posted below i saw that she somebody mentioned about like looking at their followers and stuff like that so when i said that he was flawed what i noticed is that he's 52 years old right so he's not like the hottest guy but his money and like the way he carries himself like it makes him you just said that he's not the hottest guy but his money makes him hot so basically, you just looking for a dude that's just got bread. What? Let them talk long enough. They 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 make themselves known. You stupid bitch. So what was the point of you just? He's not really that hot, but his money makes him hot. What kind of shit is that to say? And then y'all wonder why men don't be want to damn date y'all. Just dumb. So he's not like the hottest guy, but his money and like the way he carries himself, like it makes him, it makes him hot. What the fuck I just say? Dumb. Um, so I, I looked at his followers and what I noticed is that a lot of his followers, cause he's recently widowed. So his wife died like a year ago from cancer. And what I noticed is that his followers he has like a lot of those like only fans looking women like the lady with the big tits and you know the young girls and all this stuff and i was just like, the chicks with a whole lot of cake batter like ashley 
Because we all know that a lot of them chicks that, that's IG models, they got a shit ton of makeup on, just like Ashley. This woman got blush on and got nose blush. I don't even know how to, never mind. Take all that shit off, she look different. Like, that's just kind of creepy and that's kind of weird. And I feel like, you know, is that like a sign of like a sex addiction or, you know, well, I, I don't really know. I can't say a sex addiction, but I'm assuming I mean, that, that's his type. Like he likes, he likes that, the fantasy look, I will say. He likes the look of the girl with the boobs, the small waist, you know, probably a lot going on. Looking like Mrs. Incredible. So let's face it. Miss Incredible had a fat ass. Yes, her name was Miss Incredible. Last the girl, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm sorry. Had aesthetic. But maybe he wants to marry a more conservative woman. Yeah, I think that's I think that's the case. Um, but the reason This woman ain't no bit conservative because she she was married and she got a divorce. And it sounded like she got a divorce because of her. She wanted a divorce. That's what it sounded like to me. That's why I even bring up like the sex addiction thing is just because that's just something that he talks about like all the time, you know? And oh. I don't know, like it was a little weird, you know? And I don't, at first I wasn't, I didn't look at it as a red flag. I was just like, oh, you know, um, I thought it was cool. I thought it was sexy. But now that I'm looking at who his who he, the people he follows, I'm like, maybe he has like some type of like sex addiction, like porn thing going on. Well, wait, I don't so know. was he making like, I don't know, was he saying things to you, making sexual advances at you or? Well, it was always, I mean, you know, it was, I think it was a little bit more than like normal about you know the things that he would say pretty provocative stuff i thought oh. it was hot. i thought it was hot i mean because again i'm like recently divorced and i was married for almost 20 years and so to me it was like it just turned me on i just liked it right. but then i realized like you know i don't really know is he doing that to everybody is he saying like all these same things um, i don't know i just kind of wanted like your opinion on it because yeah. I, so this is how I actually caught him up. So I created a fake page and I just wanted to see, cause I was just like, if he has all of these different types of women, I'm going to create a page like that. And I'm going to see if he's going to reach out to this type of woman. Cause I want to know if he's really reaching out to these people okay. and he bit the bait, he did it. And so he essentially, I created this fake page. I want to say like within a week, um he reached out on the dm and he was just like oh hi beautiful like you're gorgeous you're sexy i would really like to get to know you and then i just was like no this is just too much and then so i talked to my sister and my sister was just like well you should have really never done that because we didn't really define the relationship type right, of thing right. i was going to say that like You was a dumbass. Y'all didn't define a relationship, but yeah, you over here making a secret profile trying to expose this man. How does this shit make sense to y'all? Like, I don't know if y'all in somewhere in the, in the back of your brain, this shit sounds good. But every time y'all open y'all damn mouth, y'all expose how Looney Tune y'all are. Y'all literally fucking make the Looney Tune sound like a game show. Like if you guys aren't official, then he's allowed to talk to other women. Yeah, you can be possessive about it if you guys aren't official. You know. Yeah, I know. Um, but I, I guess for me, I just wanted to know if he's like reaching out to all, all of these women. And I think that just kind of solidified what I thought. And then so I just basically I did I never confronted him about it. Um, but I did kind of like want to 
you know, just create those boundaries. Um, and, you know, and then he also, mean boundaries. What do you mean boundaries? Well, you know, he was, I was pretty much wanting to, to like define like the relationship, you know, and I basically told him that, um, you know, I, I would like to date like exclusively because I don't know, like if you're around sleeping with other people. So he said that he wasn't. But he also was just like, well, I would really like for us to just keep it the way things are. And like, you know, what, like, you know, like, you know what it is and I know what it is. And that's really all that matters. Like, why do we need to rush and like put this whole title thing on it? And this was like, I think it had this point, it was like maybe two months or so. Oh, oh that's well, two months too long. He should have already asked you to be his girlfriend. If he didn't, he doesn't see you. Especially since he like flew me to like, you know, his hometown to meet like his family and stuff like that. That's what I thought too, which is why I created the page. Cause I was just like, well, this doesn't make any sense to me. And again, I was married for almost 20 years. I'm back new to the game. And so this is what it is. And I was just like, um. You bagging some bullshit. I'm going to keep it a stack on this. You back at some bullshit. Don't nobody want to be single nowadays. You got women struggling to find men to damn date. Men saying, fuck that. I don't want to be single. I don't want to be in a relationship. So when I say nobody want to be in a relationship or want to be, uh, want to be single, the women don't want to be single and the men don't want to be in a relationship. That's what I mean. Y'all women, y'all steadily screwed yourselves. And this woman thinking that divorcing her husband of 20 years was the best decision she could make. Now, if he wasn't putting his hands on you, cheating on you, but was treating you like a respectable woman and giving you everything he can, and you divorced him, you deserve everything you getting. You deserve catching all the hell you catching. Because you got to be a stupid motherfucker to damn do some shit like this. Um, if you, so basically I told him, I said, if you are not willing to respect like what I want. And I said, because when I went, when I first started talking to you, I told you that I was dating with intention. And I was just like, and it's been a couple of months. And I was just like, so just don't contact me if these are not your intentions. And he did not contact me. And so... <laughs> And the thing is, you know, respectfully. You told him not to contact you if he didn't, if that wasn't what he wanted. And he didn't contact you. Now you're on a damn day show asking for advice about him. <sighs> mm, stupid. Hopefully he doesn't have to. If he is a multimillionaire like you say he is. Yeah. It would be very easy for him to find someone else. You know what exactly. I mean? Oh, yeah. And honestly, oh, 100%. Yeah. I think maybe you got too serious too quickly with him. Yeah. Like, I want marriage. I want commitment. And sometimes that's like, whoo, whoo, hold up. Oh, wait. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> so maybe he felt overwhelmed a little bit, you know? And yeah, I read comments. So people are like, he's a player and all this. Yeah, he probably is a player. Um, you know, he he's his wife died a year ago, and I feel like you know he's probably like, and he was married for a long time too, twenty something years, and I, I feel like he probably is just like that stage in life where he's like, oh, I'm free, like this is what it's like, you know, the internet. It's just like I got all these women at like my fingertips. Type. No, he values his peace. If he's a multimillionaire, he values his peace. He's not simply looking for a woman that's just there, that's going to just be there just to fucking honestly take his money. He values his peace. Hence why when you told him, if this is not what you're looking for, don't contact me again. And then you get mad when he don't contact you again. You are a pain in the ass. No man wants to deal with a pain in the ass woman. And you are a very big pain in the ass. I'm still surprised. You surprised that the shit didn't work out. That's the shit that's surprising me. I'm surprised that you think that you thought that this shit was going to work. 
Not only the fact that you thought it was going to work, the fact that you thought it was a good idea to damn start a fake Instagram page posing as an IG thought to try to get this man caught up. That was the dumb part, too. So, obviously, that relationship wasn't meant to be. Type of thing. So, yeah, it sucks because I, I really did like him a lot. So, I was just like, I'm going to have to find another that's better and, like, you know, maybe wants to be a little bit serious. Or should I not be serious? Should I just not? Like, I don't I really should, know. You should definitely be serious. But I think what. No, you should definitely say stay single. You should definitely stay single. Because you ain't worth anything to anybody at this point. What helps with that is just having more than one option and not putting all your eggs in one basket. For sure. It's just, it's just draining. Like, I tried that. And I don't know how ladies, like, do it. I mean, guys, like, whatever. I, they do it all the time. But it's just kind of draining trying to keep up, you know? Because I was dating, like, multiple guys. Um, and when I started dating him, actually, I stopped. She was dating multiple guys. How much I want to bet she wasn't just keeping it keeping it to herself. How much you want to bet that she was actually getting her cheese clapped too? Mm. Talking to another guy that I was dating because I was just like I really wasn't interested anymore. Like once I found him and I was just like, oh, like he checks all the boxes. Like I really wasn't really interested in anyone else. So it's kind of hard, you know? I think it's only draining when you stop looking at yourself as the prize and start, and you're not asking, well, are they good enough for me? Because yeah. if- This woman is a, is a divorcee that's, that's dating a multimillionaire. She said he checked all the boxes. Now we don't know the story with him. We don't know his we don't know his opinion on the situation. She said that he checked all her boxes. Which in turn means that he's the prize. I don't understand that. Y'all love to fucking damn be delusional as hell and be like, oh, I'm the prize. Meanwhile, y'all searching for a man with all these different attributes. Like literally, it's almost like y'all try. It's almost like playing, um, playing GTA. Y'all gotta get the right stats and attributes just to fucking be a, just to be a fucking dominator of the game. Meanwhile, you gotta become that. Well, that was a shit analogy. Huh. Eh. I'll come up with a better analogy in a minute. If you flip the energy around, it's not draining. You'll be having so many men ready to be committed to you very quickly. Who's signing up for this hot mess? That's all I'm saying. Who's signing up for this hot ass mess? You know what? I, you know what, though? So I feel like I am like that. I think I probably just haven't really met somebody that I really like because I feel like they chase me and it just gets annoying. And I feel like the ones I really do like, you know, when they don't have they don't really chase me like that. It's like, oh, like I'm trying to chase them. So it's just like the classic we want what we can't have type of thing. I feel like is what I'm going through because I do have like a lot of guys that are pretty much just chasing me but i'm just if they're chasing you then why are you stuck on this one guy if you have a lot of guys chasing you why are you just stuck on this one am i missing something you're <laughs> you know what fuck it it's not interested. I actually get annoyed. Why, why aren't you like interested in them? People. If they're showing interest in you, why aren't you interested in them? That's a great question. I don't know. <laughs> I really, because they're not as like cool. They're not as, especially when I know like what I like and like what I want in a guy. 
and they are not just, you know, that guy, right? And but what's that guy do? I know she bullshitting. Even in my sleepy state, I know she bullshitting. Boy, this this woman crazy. Do they have their finances together? Are they mentally stable? Are they can they date you? Do they have those in order? Those three things. They do have that in order. And I know that sounds I know that sounds so bad. So maybe I should just yeah. you know, take a step back and just You should date those guys because those guys are gonna worship the ground you you walk on. If they're chasing you now, they're gonna continue to chase you throughout the relationship. I yeah. say go for the man, go with the man who wants you more than you want him. Somebody said, what did I like about my ex, my ex-husband? I like that he was a provider. You know, I didn't have to really work as hard. What I what I did learn from that relationship, though, because he was a provider, um, I didn't really have to work. Notice how the only thing that she's saying, the reason why she liked him is because of his money. Ain't got she ain't said shit about his character. She ain't said shit about anything other than his money. That tells you what this woman's worth. Work as hard. Um, whereas when we got divorced, I'm like grinding, but I'm grinding for me. Like I'm really focusing in on building like my own wealth outside of like guys. And that's like another thing, Ashley, I wanted to ask you about. It's hard for me to be like that feminine woman, especially after divorce, because I'm like so on my grind and like wanting to like build something. And I feel like that stems from, you know, my ex-husband was a provider. And then when we got divorced, I wanted to continue that lifestyle. And so I was just like, I got to like step it up. Right. Um, but it's hard for me to be like that soft feminine like woman to like let the guys like do for me. And I'm happy. So now we're starting to hear why this man didn't really marry, didn't really take her serious and didn't really contact her back. Now we're seeing why he didn't. Having a really hard time, like, you know, letting them, because even when the guy flew me out, I was just like, oh, I can pay for my own flight. Like, you know, and he was just like, no, like, I'm not letting you, like, pay for your own flight. But I was just so quick to say, like, oh, I got it, you know? But the thing right. is that that also tells me if you're rushing to pay for your own flight, was your ex husband really a provider? Because girls who have been provided or women who have been provi provided for that's second nature. Of course, you're paying. I'm never going to offer. I don't care how much money, how much of a boss babe I am. I'm like, oh, of course, that's something you're taking care of. And this is why women have the issues they have. Listen to trash ass advice like this. Exactly the reason why y'all single. If y'all listen to this, boy, help him. Cause this right here, this 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 woman right here is literally the reason why <laughs> men just don't want to date no more. You know? Yeah, so I think even also. in my marriage, I was you know just very like. I don't know, just like independent thinking, I guess. And it's just like, even now, I, I guess I've been like that like my whole life. Just, I don't want to ask people for stuff or I don't want to make it seem like I'm needy or anything like that. And so I really do want like that soft life where in this day and age and this new chapter in my life that I'm just like meeting someone that's going to step up and be like, no, like I got it. You don't have to do anything. I, I have to like make it seem like I'm like this independent, like can do like woman, and I don't want to be that way. <laughs> so yeah, I, I always say there's nothing wrong with being independent and having your own. And, you know, I think that's great. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it, but I think you can do both. I think both are, are definitely possible to be yeah. soft and feminine and to still get your bag and do what you need to do for you and take care of your responsibilities. I see nothing wrong with both. Yeah, you know? I read the comments. <laughs> Everybody is funny, but that's all I, that's all I had. I don't want to take up all your time, but thank you so much. I did just want to meet you in person though. 
Yeah. She's about to be single. Not only because of the way that she's acting, just 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 her tonality. Don't nobody want to deal with that. I'm sorry. Nobody wants to deal with no woman like that. Nobody wants to check for a woman like that. Nobody even wants to dog on be even have a woman like that. That that right there is the reason why a lot of women just gonna be just single. Like she has the mindset of a child. And the bad part is I'm not even trying to damn cook her, roast her, anything. She has the mindset of a child. And the bad part is you have so many of our women like that. Mm. Anyways, guys, like, share, subscribe, channel, support the podcast, support with a comment. If you guys want to support me on Patreon, please do. I will catch you guys on the flip side. And thank you guys for listening. Bye, guys.